A new report from South Africa tells that Omicron variant has three times more reinvention rate than Delta. So what are your views on this and how countries can prepare? So this is a preprint um, that has recently been published looking at uh, the risk of reinfection across South Africa based on the different waves of infection that they have. They did find a two to three times uh, increased risk of reinfection, uh, meaning, and the way that they define reinfection is two tests 90 days apart, at least 90 days apart. You know, we know that people can be reinfected uh, with SARS-CoV-2, um, but we need to wait and to understand really what this means on a global scale. This is one study um, showing you know, some very good work that's ongoing. We'll let it go through that peer review, and there's a lot of people that are asking questions about this. Remember, infection is diagnosed in your nose. So it's basically an infection in the mucosa of your nose, the lining of your nose. So you can be infected and you can have a reinfection and you could probably find the virus in the nose but you're not sick because your immune system within your the inside of your body in effect is mounting an immune response and able to cope with that infection so uh, reinfection does not automatically mean severe disease reinfection rates may be higher but when the data comes through on vaccine protection but the data we're really looking to see is going to be around uh, severity of infection and whether or not the vaccines continue to protect against severe disease, hospitalization and death. And right now there's no reason to suppose that they won't, uh, we just haven't got the data yet.